Hello everyone, this is Al, Red Sox fan, coming to you from Al, Red Sox fan, YouTube channel. Hope all is well, and we're going to give you some pro strategy football 2021, the WFL, USFL, AAFC League, and it's a USFL matchup all the way. The 1984 New Jersey Generals taking on the 1984 Michigan Panthers from the Pontiac Silver Dome, week two, both teams are one and O. Oh. This is a featured PC versus PC game. The Generals, as I stated, are one and O, oh, just like the Panthers. In 1984, in the USFL, they were 14 and four, while the Panthers were 10 and eight. The Generals are two point favorites on the road in Michigan. The over under is 47. So let's scout the teams and get to kickoff. We'll start with the visiting New Jersey Generals. Rating system 1 through 9, 1 being the worst, 9 being the best. Run blocking 7 for the Generals, pass blocking 6. Red zone offense very good with a 7. Team discipline very good with a 7. Ball security not so good, below average with a 4. Two-minute offense above average with a six. On the road, they're a seven-rated team. Run defense, pass defense, red zone defense, all sevens for the Generals. Their pass rush is a six. Causing fumbles, defensive stamina, controlling or preventing big plays for the New Jersey Generals, all sixes. Now for the Michigan Panthers. They're at home at the Pontiac Silver Dome. Run blocking, pass blocking, both sevens. Red zone offense, team discipline, sixes. Ball security, again, they're a little loosey-goosey with that pigskin. It's a four. Two-minute offense is a six. At home, they are a seven. Much better home team than road team. Again, they were 10-8 and eight in 1984. 1-0 oh in our season here, and so are the Generals. Run defense, pass defense, sevens. Pass rush is a six. You might get down there. But their red zone defense is very good, the Michigan Panthers. It's an 8. Their 6s across the board for fumbles, causing fumbles, uh, stamina for the defense, controlling or preventing the big play by their opponent. As SDG Replay says, Hi Al, to answer your question, he records with Streamlab. And edit with HD Movie Maker. It was very choppy. I just wanted to tell you that because um, it was a good, it was a good stream, but it was a little choppy, my friend. I felt I would just share that with you. I, as I thought, maybe you were streaming with um, uh, StreamYard, which is horrible to stream games with. So hope all is well. Thank you for joining us. Now. Coaching for the Michigan Panther, Panthers, excuse me. The head coach for Michigan is Jim Stanley. Balanced attack. They'll take uh, typical balanced risks. They like to run the halfback, and they'll mostly throw to the two wide out set. On defense, they like a 3-4. They bounce between man and zone, and they will blitz on typical occasions. For the New Jersey Generals, head coach Walt Michaels. Heavy running team with uh, Herschel Walker and Maurice Carthon. But they can throw the ball a bit too with Brian Sipe. And they'll run Carth uh, excuse me, Walker quite a bit. They'll throw to the tight ends or the wideouts. They too like a 3-4 on defense. Also will bounce between man and zone. And they will blitz on occasions to bring the pressure. Offensive line for the Generals. Mackey, Lampham, Hull, Harris, Millard, extra offensive lineman, Yali Renko. We'll just say Renko. For the Michigan Panthers, offensive lineman, Godfrey, McGriff, Radloff, Penny, or Penny, excuse me, Osborne, extra offensive lineman, Wiska. The offense for the Michigan Panthers, Bobby A. Bears at quarterback. Williams and Lacey are your running backs. They're quite good. Wideouts are Holloway and Anthony Carter. Tight end is Cobb. Then they also have Anthony Allen, Walter Brutton. You'll see at wideout. Backup tight end is Eccles. 
for the New Jersey Generals. Brian Seip at quarterback. Herschel Walker, Maurice Carthon are your running backs. McCautney and Collins, your wideouts. Jeff Specks, the tight end. You'll also see Hackett and Knight at wideout. And Sam Bowers is the backup tight end for the New Jersey Generals. Defensive line for the Generals. Lockett, Woodland, Biner, or Byron, Madsen, and the extra defensive lineman, Matisse, I believe. For the Panthers, Banizak, Timpton, uh, Paget, Bethea, extra offensive lineman, Hughes. Defensive lineman. Linebackers and defensive backs for the Panthers. Linebackers, Bordland, Pennywell, Bentley, and Corker. Defensive backs, Chapman, Arn, Arnard, Greenwood, Davis, Nickelback, McKeever, Dimeback, Moriarty. For the Generals, linebackers and defensive backs, Harper, Le Leclerc, Horn, Leopold. Defensive backs, Justin, Barbaro, Johnson, Williams, Nickelback, Daniels, Dimeback, Preston. Now to the always adventuring, adventurous kicking game. <laughs> Roger Ruzik for the Generals is a place kicker. Bob Group, the punter. For the Michigan Panthers, Bajovic, Novo Bajovic. I'd like to buy an O, please, is the place kicker, David Greenwood, the punter. Joining us here at the Pontiac Silverdome. Again, SDG replays. Check out that wonderful channel, Super Bowl Tournament. Hope all is well. Check out his wonderful channel. Of course, the mod site with all the free seasons. Savoy48, uh, John Wise, as he says, we have made it to Virginia safely. That's excellent news, Mr. Wise. Glad to hear that. And USMC Rebels, Jersey represents. So I guess he's going for the New Jersey Generals. <clears throat> As they say in pro strategy football, let's do this. Again, we are, we are only commentating. We don't play as any team in this league. We just enjoy the fun. New Jersey won the toss. They elect to receive. Bajovic will kick off. Ball game on its way. General setting up for the return. From about the 8 comes Pews. And it's a decent return to the 25 of 16 yards. Pugis, I believe. I think it is Pugus. So Brian Sipe and the Jersey offense starts first and 10 at their 26. Walker and Carthon are your backs. Collins and McCockney are the wide out. Specs the tight end. Zone coverage. Three down linemen for the Panthers. Sipe under center. First down. Sipe gives it to Walker. Walker follows his block. It's a big run as he gets out to the 45 of the Generals. Walker goes for 19. Arnard tripped him up, or he could have went a long, long way. But the back out of Georgia with a big run on the very first play of offense for the Generals. And they were keying Walker to no avail. First and 10 for New Jersey at their 45 eye formation. Carthon the up back, Walker behind a man coverage. Michigan goes to four down linemen now. And that penalty is a dead ball foul. I believe that will be on New Jersey, and it will. Back up the bus five yards, first and 15 for the Generals at their 40. Now they go to a split backfield, the Generals do. Man coverage, four down linemen for Michigan on first and 15. It's a sweep to Carthon. The fullback turns the corner. He's going to pick up four. Tripped up by Bethea. There's an injury on the field. And it's Maurice Carthon. He is out for the season. Holy poop. As he took quite a shot in the rib cage 
And word from the sidelines, he's got some busted ribs and he is gone for the season. That's going to hurt the Generals' chances in this league. Harmon will now be the fullback for the rest of the year. Wow. So Walker's a lone setback. Collins and McCotney out wide. Speck is the tight end. I can't tell who the slot receiver is at the moment. Zone coverage, three down linemen for Michigan. Second down, Sight play action. Brian Sight takes off, pick up, picks up three. Pennywell on the tackle. So that's going to be third and eight. Walker and Harmon are your split back. Zone coverage for Michigan on third and eight. Sight rolls, throws, complete to spec the tight end. Gain of 15. They move the chains first and 10. At the Panther, 38. Greenwood on the tackle and coverage. Nice roll and throw by Sipe to Spec. First down, Generals come to the line of scrimmage. Walker and Harmon, your split backs. Zone coverage, 3-4. For the Panthers on first and 10. It's a pitch to Herschel Walker. He goes left, cuts back to the middle. Three tough yards. Corker put the screws on Walker. Second and seven. Harmon directly behind Sipe. Walker. Actually, it's uh, Walker goes to the sidelines. That's uh, Pergues to the left of Sipe. First, uh, second and seven. Man coverage for the Panthers. Harmon, the fullback, around the corner for one. Knocked out of bounds. So third and six now. For the Generals, at the Michigan 34, Walker and Harmon are your backs. Collins, Speck, McCotney are the receivers, Speck being the tight end. Man coverage, four down linemen for Michigan on this big third and six. And Sype takes it himself! Oh my lord, he's got the first down. That fooled everybody, including me. Bethea trips him up. But another set of down for the Generals. First and ten at the Michigan 28. Generals come to the line of scrimmage. Man coverage, four down linemen for the Panthers. Panthers jump. Walker with a carry on the trap play. He'll pick up three. Bethea on the tackle, but I think this penalty... No penalty! Wow! I thought for sure Michigan jumped. So it's second and seven. Hackett is a slot receiver. We couldn't see his name when he was to the top. So Hackett in the slot. McCotney Collins out wide, specs the tight end. Herschel Walker, Heisman Trophy winner out of Georgia. The lone setback, 3-4, two deep zone for Michigan. It's a give to Walker to the left. He'll pick up three more yards. Tipton tripped him up. Third and four for the Generals. At the Panther 22, Sipe and shotgun. Hackett and Collins to the top, Speck and McCotney to the bottom. Walker in shotgun formation with Brian Sipe, the former Cleveland Brown quarterback. No safety help. Everyone up in the box for Michigan. Sipe throws quickly. Incomplete. Short hitch intended for the tight end. Speck was well covered by Greenwood. Fourth and four. Ruzik for the 39-yard field goal attempt. Bradley holds. The kick is up. And through. It's good. 3-0 New Jersey. Ruzik to kick off. 9.02 left in the first quarter. Michigan gets the ball for the first time. From the 5 comes Bentley. 15-20. Cuts to the outside. 30. 35 and brought down. And they'll spot it at the 36. So here's Michigan, led by Bobby Bear under center. Holloway, Allen, Carter, your receivers. Allen in the slot. Williams alone setback. And Cobbs the tight end. First and ten. Zone coverage. And Williams to the right. He has a nice block. Picks up five yards. Woodland on the tackle. For the Generals. Lacey and Williams are your split backs now. Second and five. Again, man coverage, four down linemen for the Generals. Sweep to Williams, turns the corner, he fumbles, and the Generals come up with it. Williams picks up three, takes a pop, and the fortuitous bounce goes into the arms of the New Jersey, New Jersey Generals as they have the pigskin first and ten at the Michigan 44. 
So Sipe and the Generals offense set up in golden field position. Harmon, Walker are your backs. Speck, McCockney, Collins, your receivers. Speck being the tight end. Sipe under center. 3-4. Man coverage for the Panthers on first down. It's a pitch to Herschel Walker to the left. It's a big run, and Walker is knocked out of bounds after a 12-yard gain. So Herschel Walker, another good run. First and 10 for the Generals at the Michigan 32. Walker and Harmon go off the field. Hackett and uh, Pegues come on the field. Pegues the lone setback. Hackett the slot receiver. 4-3 man coverage. For the Panthers on first and 10. Sight Pegues to the left. He's got running room. He's got the first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. 12 yards. Another first down for the Generals at the Michigan 20. Trying to capitalize on that fumble by Williams. Walker and Harmon are your split backs. 3-4, two deep zone for the Panthers. Sight to throw. He has time. Middle, deep to the end zone. Touchdown to Speck. Touchdown. 20 yards, sight to spec. They do it again, except this time it's a nesty plunge. Here's the replay in slow motion. 9 nothing. Generals, we await the Ruzik extra point. Sype really laid it right into the hands of spec. Touchdown. Who found the soft spot in that two deep zone. Ruzik for the extra point. Bradley to hold. Ruzik. Puts it through. It's good. 10 nothing, Generals. Ruzik to kick off. Seven minutes to play in the first quarter. Quarter of dominance for the Generals. From the end zone comes Bentley. 5, 10. Cuts the outside. 50. Oh, he will not make the 20-yard line. But there is a flag on the field. Personal foul on New Jersey. A late hit on Bentley. And that's going to bring the ball out to the Michigan 32. So Bobby Bear and the offense get their second crack at it after the Williams fumble, which led to the touchdown pass, sight to spec. Lacey and Williams are your backs. Cobb, Carter, Holloway, your receivers. Cobb being the tight end. 3-4, two deep zone for the Generals on first down. A Bear pitches to Williams. Williams to the left. Holds on to the ball. Struggles for three. Bobby Leopold on the tackle for New Jersey. Second and seven. Just over six to play in the first quarter. Lacey the up back. Williams behind him. Man coverage. Four down linemen for the Generals. A Bear pitches to Lacey. Lacey gets around the corner. Picks up four. Knocked out of bounds. That will leave a third and three. From the Panther 39, Allen comes on the field. He's the slot receiver as Lacey goes off the field. Williams alone setback. Everyone up in the box except for Barbaro, the free safety for New Jersey. Third and three. Panthers look to convert. Williams has it, and it's a big run. He crosses midfield and is finally tripped up by Justin. 14 yards for Williams trying to make amends for that fumble that cost Michigan a touchdown. First and 10 for the Panthers at the New Jersey 47. Lacey and Patrick are your backs now. 3-4, two deep zone for the Generals. A Bear, it's a handoff to Patrick to the left. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage by Bobby Leopold. That's a one-yard loss. So it's second and 11. Allen comes on. He's the slot receiver. Williams alone setback. 3-4, two deep zone for New Jersey, second and long. A bear to throw, has time, hits Allen. The slot receiver for six, tackled by LeClaire. Third and a much more manageable five for the Panthers. Under four to play in the first quarter, 10-0 New Jersey. Holloway, Cobb, Allen, Carter are your receivers. Williams is the lone setback. 4-3 man coverage for the Generals on third down. A bear to throw. A quick hitch to the out. Incomplete looking for Carter. Well covered by Williams. Fourth and five 
The Panthers. Oh, they're going for a long field goal here. Taylor puts it down. This is going to be well short. What the hell were they thinking? Bojovic's kick was short by at least 10 yards. I think you need to drug test that coach, Jim Stanley. New Jersey takes over first and 10 at their own 49. Again, golden field position here. Indoors or not, that was a long field goal. That was all we already calling for the punt. Walker and Harmon are the backs. Maurice Carthon is out for the year with four nasty broken ribs. Happened on his first carry of the game. 3-4, two deep zone for the Panthers on first and 10. Sipe to throw. He's throwing deep middle. Incomplete. Was he looking for Speck again? No, this time Collins on the long slant. Harmon really made a nice job of picking up the block to give Sipe time. But Sipe could not connect up with Collins. Second and 10. Walker, Harmon, your split back. Speck, McCotney, and Collins, your receivers. They're doubling McCotney. You can see Arnard to the bottom of the screen, the free safety for the Panthers. Second and 10. Man coverage for the Panthers. It's a blitz! Sipe tries to beat the blitz with a quick hitch to the tight end spec. But to no avail. Third and 10. They brought good pressure on Sipe, who's now in shotgun. Walker next to him. McCotney and spec to the top. Hackett and Collins to the bottom. 3 4. Two deep zone. On third and ten for the Panthers. Shotgun snap. Sipe has it. Throws it out. Complete to Collins. He breaks a tackle. Picks up a few more yards. So it'll be 16 yards. Chapman finally makes the stop at the 35. A big conversion for the Generals. As they had golden field position after a long missed field goal attempt. And they'll be questioning Coach Stanley in the Detroit papers on that one. Which, again, set up New Jersey with golden field position. I formation, Harmon the upback, Walker behind him. 4-3 man coverage on first and 10 for the Panthers. Harmon the upback gets it, plunges into the line, no gain. Banizak bamboozled him. Second and 10 for the Generals. Just over two to play in the first quarter. A quarter of dominance for the Generals. Pugues and Harmon are your backs. Walker gets a breather on the sidelines. 3-4 man coverage. For the Panthers. Sight to throw. Pumps. Now an out. Incomplete. That pass was behind McCartney. Larry Harris has joined us. He says, I always liked Brian Sipe. So did I. After his USFL days, he was done. He didn't play football anymore. I ch I'm pretty sure. Jim L. Hope all is well. Thank you for joining us here at the Pontiac Silverdome. 158 left in the first quarter, 10 nothing Generals. If you're just joining us, the Generals are two-point favorites on the road here in Michigan. And uh, over-under is 47. Sipin shotgun, Walker next to him, Collins and Hackett to the top, Speck and McCotney to the bottom. 4-3, two-deep zone for the Panthers. Shotgun snap to Brian Sipe. Sipe, middle, incomplete. Well covered by Pennywell. Pass intended for Collins. This will be a 52-yard field goal attempt for Roger Ruzik. Bradley to hold. This is a long field goal attempt. Bradley spins it, puts it down. Ruzik strikes it well. He's got it. He's got it. He booms it through from 52. 13 nothing New Jersey. So Ruzik did what Bovajovic could not do. Though that one was a little farther. 13 nothing New Jersey. Ruzik to kick off. 148 left in the first quarter. A quarter that the Panthers it can't end too soon. Deep in the end zone, taking a knee is uh Fatrell. 148 left in the first quarter. Larry Harris says, You are correct about Brian Sype not playing again after his USFL. Out of San Diego State, 
I believe, Brian Sype. All right, here come the Panthers trailing by 13. A Bear under center. Lacey and Williams are your backs. Cobb, Holloway, Carter, your receivers. Cobb being the tight end. 4 3 man coverage for the Generals. It's a run to Williams. Williams bounces it to the left. Well, it looked like he was stuffed in the middle, but picked up two. So it's second and eight, just over a minute to play. Aber brings the offense to the line of scrimmage. Man coverage, 4-3 for the Generals. Bobby Aber to throw. Short middle. Williams immediately wrapped up by, there he is, Bobby Leopold. Only two yards, third and six. Aber and shotgun. Williams next to him. Cobb and Holloway to the top. Carter and Allen to the bottom. Carter very dangerous. Shotgun snap to Bobby Aber. Middle, complete to Cobb, the tight end. He's racing towards midfield and is tripped up by Harper. 18 yards, A bear to Cobb. The Panthers convert. Under 30 seconds to play. Lacey and Patrick are your backs as the Panthers try to mount an attack here. 4-3, two deep zone for the Generals on first down. And that's it. They do not get another playoff before the end of the first quarter. A first quarter of dominance by the Generals. Station identification break. You're watching Pro Strategy Football 2021 WFL, USFL, AAFC League. 1984 Generals taking on the 1984 Panthers. Both out of the USFL. Week 2, both are 1-0. and oh. On the Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel, I greatly appreciate your time. We switch sides. Panthers hoping that the second quarter will fare them much better than the first. A bear under center. Lacey and Patrick are your backs. Carter, Cobb, Holloway, your receivers. Cobb being the tight end. 3 4, two deep zone for the Generals. A bear to throw. It's a screen and it's incomplete. Losing his footing was Patrick. Second and 10. Williams and Lacey are your backs now. 4-3 man coverage for the Generals on second down. A bear quick hitter to Carter, and Carter is nailed. They were looking for the catch and run. Instead, it was a catch and get whacked. Williams put the big hit on Carter. Only a one-yard gain. It'll be third and nine for the Panthers from their 43. Four wide receivers set for Michigan. Carter, Allen to the top, Holloway, and uh, Brutton to the bottom. Williams alone setback. New Jersey, no safety help. Will A Bear be, be able to go over the top? Bobby back to pass. Has time. Middle. Go! Oh, it's complete. And then it is a fumble. A big hit on Holloway after he gets the first down. He got whacked. And once again. The Panthers play it very loosey-goosey with the pigskin. And New Jersey has the turnover. Here's the replay in slow motion. I think it's Leopold who might have put the hit on him. It's either Leopold or, or LeClaire. Or LeClaire, excuse me. But once again, New Jersey. A big hit on a Panther. And they've got the pigskin. So New Jersey first and 10 at their 48. 13 nothing New Jersey. Only two point favorites. If you have New Jersey and you laid the two, you're looking good now. Harmon and Walker are your split backs. Maurice Carthon is out for the year. Broken ribs. Shocking on his first carry of the game. McCotney, Collins, your wide out. Specs the tight end. Sipe under center. Man coverage. Four down linemen for the Panthers. It is Walker to the right, and they have wrapped him up for a yard loss. Good job by the Panthers. Tipton on the tackle for Michigan. Second and 11. Sipe brings the offense to the line of scrimmage against man coverage. Four down linemen. Sipe. Harmon to the right. Harmon picks up some yards. Gets five, but there's a flag on the field. Harmon was tackled by Bordland. Illegal block by New Jersey. Michigan accepts. It'll be second and 21 from the general 37. With that second and 21, Sipe is in shotgun now. Walker next to him. Collins and Hackett to the top. Speck and McCotney to the bottom. Michigan playing with no safety help. Will Speck and Sipe hook up again for a big play? 
Shotgun snap. Blitz. And there goes Sipe. Bethea bamboozled Sipe, but there's a flag. Offsetting penalties. It's a mulligan. I repeat, it's a mulligan. We do it all over again. So it's second and 21. Sipe again in shotgun. This time, Michigan sees the errors of their way. They have a two deep zone on second and 21. Sipe screened. Oh, off the fingertips of Herschel Walker. Had some blocking out in front of him. So it's going to be third and 21. Man coverage. Nickel for the Panthers. New Jersey's in shotgun. Walker next to Sipe. Collins, Hackett to the top. Speck and McCotney to the bottom. Here's the shotgun snap to Brian Sipe. Sipe throws incomplete. The short slant to Collins was well covered by Pennywell. Group to punt from his 21. So Michigan finally holds. And that ball is going to go out around the 26, 36-yard punt, 27. Sportsman Z has joined us at the Pontiac Silverdome. Check out that wonderful YouTube channel. And Dave Gardner is here. He says, go Generals. Check out his wonderful YouTube channel. And, of course, Digital to Dice. Uh, best podcast out there when it comes to sports, sims, games, subject matter. So it's Dave Gardner and Ron Juckett, Digital to Dice on Spreaker or wherever fine podcasts can be listened to. And Sportsman Z says, oh my God, I love the USFL. Me too. I'm happy it's coming back. People are like, oh, it's not going to be the same. Of course it's not going to be the same. It's years later, but it's spring football. And as long as they play football, no stupid rules, just a two-point conversion, no stupid rules, just play football. And it'd be very enjoyable to watch. So the Panthers down 13 to nothing. Williams, Lacey are your backs. Carter, Cobb, Holloway, your receivers. Cobb being the tight end. Bobby A. Bear under center. The Panthers have coughed the ball up twice already. Man coverage, four down linemen for the Generals. On first down. It's a blitz. A Bear beats the blitz with a short slant to Cobb for five yards. Second and five. Panthers come to the line of scrimmage. 3-4, two deep zone for the Generals on second and five. A Bear to throw. Quick hitter to Holloway. He breaks a couple of tackles. He picks up seven. They move the chains, but hold your horses, folks. Penalty on the play. Interference on New Jersey. Michigan declines. First and ten at their 39. Split backfield for the Panthers, who trail 13 to nothing. Lacey and Williams. 4-3, two deep zone for the Generals. It's a run to Williams to the right. No gain. Wrapped up and brought down by Johnson of the Generals. Second and ten. A bear and shotgun. Patrick next to him. Broughton. Uh, Bruton and Holloway to the top. Allen and Carter to the bottom. Shotgun snap. No safety help for New Jersey. Bear all day. Throws middle. Complete to Holloway. Holloway, 35 and brought down. 27 yards. Bear to Holloway. Again, New Jersey with no safety help. What the hell were they thinking? Johnson with the touchdown saving tackle, but that's a big play that the Panthers needed. First and 10 for the Panthers at the New Jersey 34. Split backfield of Williams and Lacey. 3 4 man coverage for the Generals on first and 10. A Bear rolls, throws, intercepted by Justin. That is the third turnover by the Panthers. This one, it comes from the arm of Bobby A Bear as he is picked off by Justin. So Michigan's fumbled the ball twice, and now interception. And this New Jersey defense is looking stout when it comes to turnovers. You, it's very difficult to win a game with three turnovers, though if Michigan holds, they're only down by 13. So here's Sipe and the Generals' offense once again after a turnover. 10-32 left in the first half. New Jersey leads Michigan 13 to nothing. Harmon and Walker are your setbacks. 
Maurice Carthon out for the year. He took a big hit on his first carry uh, of the game, and his ribs are broke. He is done. McCartney Collins to the outs. Specs the tight end. Sipe under center. 3-4 man coverage for the Panthers. It's a handoff to the up back Harmon. He picks up two. Bentley on the tackle. Second and eight. Under 10 to play in the half. Walker goes off the field. Pegues comes on. Second and 10. Zone coverage for the Panthers. Sipe to throw. A lot of time. Zips it deep. Incomplete. Threw it out near the 50-yard line. Pass was intended for McCartney. Greenwood on the coverage. Alan Griggy has joined us here at the Pontiac Silverdome. Hope all is well, Alan. Third and eight. Big, 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 big defensive play here for Michigan. Their offense has turned the ball over three times, but they look to hold here. Shotgun for Sipe. Walker next to him to the left. Hackett and Collins to the bottom. Speck and McCotney to the top. Here's the shotgun snap to Brian Sipe. Extra blockers. Gives him a lot of time. It's a deep pass and it's incomplete. Well covered was Collins as that two deep zone swallowed up that pass. So a good job by the Panthers defense after Bobby Bear was picked off. Group to punt from his 15. Panthers coming after it. Group gets the punt off. It's a high punt. From the 25 comes Brutton, and he is brought down immediately. They'll credit him with a one-yard return. First and 10 for the Panthers, 9.35 left in the half. Their offense has been putrid. Putrid! As Alan Griggy says, he turned 52 today. Well, we're going to have to pause for a moment. First of all, God bless you, Alan, and happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, Alan Griggy, happy birthday to you. Many happy, healthy ones to come, my friend, and God bless. All right, now back to the ball game. First and ten, Williams and Lacey are your split backs. Carter, Cobb, Holloway, your receivers. Cobb, number 89, being the tight end. 4-3 man coverage for the Generals on first down. Bear under center. Bobby to throw. Extra blockers. He throws. Incomplete. That was a medium hitch at the sticks. Well covered by Justin. Pass intended for Holloway. And New Jersey, their cornerback, Kerry Justin, had the wind knocked out of him, so Johnson will come in at quarter at cornerback. Second and ten. A bear to the line of scrimmage with the offense. Four three two deep zone for the generals. A bear to throw under duress. He throws complete the hollow hollow Holloway, excuse me. Frog in my throat. Near midfield, brought down by Barbaro. That's a gain of twenty two. Here's the replay in actual speed. A bear fe felt the pressure, stood tall in the pocket, and he hits Holloway for 22. You welcome Alan Greggy. They'll spot it at the Michigan 49, 847, and counting in the game. Williams Lacey are your split backs. 3 4 man coverage for the Generals on first and 10. A bear to throw again. He has pressure. Middle. Incomplete. incomplete. Generals down. really bringing a good pass rush against Bobby. Pass was intended for Williams out of the back fair field. General and President Ulysses S. Grant has joined us as he says, Hello, everyone. Second and ten. I formation for the Panthers. Lacey the up back. Williams behind him. Three, four, two deep zone for the Generals. <laughs> A bear to throw again. He's under pressure and he is sacked. Oh, there's a flag. Is it a late hit or uh, roughing the passer, excuse me, on the Generals? No. An illegal block that obviously didn't work because they got their quarterback killed. New Jersey will accept the illegal block penalty. It'll be second and 25 from the Michigan 34. That was one of the worst illegal blocks you can ever see because the quarterback still got killed. So it's second and 25.
Jersey's playing a nickel zone. A Bear barks out the signals. A Bear delayed handoff to Lacey. He's going to pick up four. Woodland didn't fall for it, makes the tackle. So third and 21. My guess this is a three deep zone. A Bear in shotgun. Patrick next to him. Cobb and Holloway to the top. Allen and Carter to the bottom. Shotgun snap to Bobby Abair, third and 21. It's a sweep to Patrick, and he has a good run, but far from enough. He picks up 10, but that leaves 11 yards. LeClaire on the tackle. Here comes the punt team. Kerry Justin is available now for New Jersey on defense. Greenwood to punt from his 32. Generals block it! The Generals block it! Unbelievable! Everything going right for New Jersey, but you know what? They're making their own breaks. Let's watch that replay in slow motion as they come bounding through on Greenwood, and there's the block. New Jersey's going to have gold in field position once again at the Michigan 39. The Panthers' defense have, has been put in a lot of stressful situations here. But they've limited the score to 13 to nothing. And if they can somehow get out of this one with it still 13 to nothing, they're looking good. Even if it's 16 to nothing, we do have the two point conversion, I believe, in this league. I, I think I set that up. Sipe under center. Harmon and Walker are your backs. McCartney, Speck, Collins, your receivers. Speck being the tight end. Sipes hit him with a couple of big passes. 4 3, two deep zone for Michigan after that black punt. But, but. Sipe gives it to Harmon. The fullback goes for one to the right, tackled by Banizak. Second and nine. New Jersey to the line of scrimmage. Zone coverage for the Panthers. Sipe, Harmon, sweep. He'll pick up another one yard. Swarming to the ball of the Panthers as they smelled their prey. Third and eight. This would be a 54-yard field goal attempt if they do not pick up a yard. So the Panthers' defense hold it. Third and eight. Harmon and Walker are your backs. Collins and McCotney are your wideouts. Specs the tight end. Four, three, two deep zone for the Panthers on third and eight. Sight hands it to Walker. Walker up the middle, and he's got the first down. That trap play popped, and Walt Michaels did that on the sidelines. He is jumping and clapping for joy. Eight yards. And another set of downs for the Generals. Big play by New Jersey. First and 10 at the Michigan 29. 525 and counting in the first half. A first half of dominance for the Generals, but they're only up 13 to nothing. First and 10. Man coverage 3 4 for the Panthers. It's a handoff to Walker, and he's going to pick up 4 to 5. Wow, they were going to spot that. If that looked like at least 4 yards. They're going to bring the ball back a bit. 3 yard gain, tackled by Bethea of the Panthers. Second and 7. Harmon and Pagues now are your backs for New Jersey. 3 4 man coverage for the Panthers. Ball at the Michigan 26 on second down. Sipe hands it to Harmon. Harmon to the left. Picks up a yard. Tipton on the tackle. Just over four to play in the first half. 13 nothing New Jersey. Sipe in shotgun. Walker next to him. McCotney and Speck to the top. Collins and Hackett to the bottom. No safety help. They're, I, they might be playing pass, but they're sniffing for that run when there's no safety help. Maybe he hands it off to Walker. I would give it to Walker on a draw here. And it's Walker on a draw! And I guess the Panthers sniffed that out too because they were looking for that. Again, they hedged their bet. They hedged their bet. They had everyone up near the box playing pass. Walker only gets two. Bethea didn't fall for it. Tripped him up. Had some help from the Panthers' defense. So good job by the Panthers. Now, here comes Roger Ruzek, Bradley to hold. This will be a 40-yard field goal attempt to try to put the Generals up 16 to nothing. And if they do, it's a, still only a two-score game as we do have a, a two-point conversion in this league. But, but, but. Bradley to hold. Ruzek puts it up. And through 16 nothing. Generals. 
So they only get a field goal after the black punt. And again, Michigan's defense is keeping them in the game. Michigan's offense is trying to lose the game. 3.29 left in the half. 16-0 New Jersey. Ruzek to kick off. Will Michigan punt on first down? From the 5 comes Fertrell. Just brings it past the 20. Michigan has it first and 10 at their 22. A Bear, who's thrown an interception. Uh, Carter's fumbled. Williams is fumbled. Three turnovers. Michigan should feel fortunate. They're only down 16. First down and 10 for Michigan. Pitch out to Williams. To the right. Williams has some room. He's going to pick up eight yards. Nine yards. Good spot of the ball. Johnson on the tackle. Second and one. 239 left. In the first half. I formation now for Michigan. Lacey the up back. Williams behind him. 3-4, two deep zone for the Generals. And Williams has got the first down as they attack that right side. Counter right to Williams. LeClaire on the stop. After further review with Steve Towers has joined us. He had I I went I liked his video. I'm gonna watch it later. He was doing that new football game. Um, that Al Wilson created, and I can't remember it, but it's free, and all you have to do is donate to a charity of your choice. So check out After Further Review with Steve Towers. And I apologize that I don't remember the football game name. Uh, Dave Gardner's played it. A couple other people have played it. It's a quick uh, drive-by-drive drive game, I believe, Um and it falls in with the other play.com sort of games, you know, like History Maker, Baseball, and Golf, storytelling kind of game. Uh, Steve Towers says, Let's go, Generals, and wishes Alan, uh, John Wise wishes Alan a happy birthday. So it's first and ten. Will they get a playoff here? Yes, they will. Oh my god, they fumbled again! Holy cow! They fumbled again! again that is four turnovers in the first half for michigan unfreaking believable three fumbles williams fumbles for a second time and an interception from bobby a bear it was an all-out run blitz and boy did they nail williams and the Panthers are playing loosey-goosey with that pigskin. Here it is in slow motion. Williams just runs into a stack of defenders. And Lockett, the ball went up in the air and Lockett comes away with it. So the Generals, as we go to the two-minute warning, will have the ball in excellent field position after another turnover by the Panthers. 16-0 New Jersey. Station identification break. You're watching Pro Strategy Football 2021 WFL USFL AAFC League. The 1984 New Jersey Generals taking on the 1984 Michigan Panthers. Oh man, I gotta edit that. The stars are still in there. Okay, I forgot to delete that part out. We'll do that after. I wonder if I could do that now. I can. That's awesome. I didn't know I could do that now. Let's do that. Let's do that. Ding, 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 ding. Save. Look at that. Now it's correct. Way to go, Al. Way to proofread your stuff. Um, on the Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel, I greatly appreciate your time. As after further review with Steve Towers, fast drive football. Thank you very much, my friend. It's been all New Jersey, and now they have it first and 10 after yet another fumble by the Panthers. At the Michigan 31, 157 left in the half. They have all three timeouts. Walker, the lone setback. Hackett in the slot. Specs the tight end. Collins and McCockney are out wide. 4-3 man coverage for the Panthers. Sype going for the kill. He zips it down the sidelines. Incomplete. Medium hitch towards the sidelines to Hackett. Well covered by McKeever of the Panthers. Second and 10. We do it again. Sype barks out the signals against zone coverage. Sype, quick hitter to McCotney. Picks up four. Borland on the big hit. New Jersey, hurry up offense. Harmon and Walker are your backs. Sype, screen. 
Walker, Walker will not get the first down, though. Knocked out of bounds. They needed six. He only got four. And here comes Roger Ruzek for his third field goal attempt. Fourth field goal attempt. To try to make it 19 to nothing. Bradley to hold. This will be a 40-yard attempt. Panthers look like they're coming after it. Ruzik puts it up. And it's good. It's good. 19 nothing New Jersey. And again, the Michigan Panthers have to be feel fortunate. It's only 19 nothing. The defense has been able to hold the Generals to field goals. 121 left in the game. You know what? Michigan's best offense might just be them punting the ball. Ruzik to kick off. What a dominant first half by the Generals' defense. From the three comes Futrell. Takes it past the 20. 18-yard return. They'll spot it at the Michigan 23. First and 10. 114 left for the Michigan Panthers' offense in this first half, and they've been horrible. They have all three timeouts. A bear and shotgun, Holloway and Cobb to the top, Allen and Carter to the bottom. Captain Fumbleitis Williams is in the backfield. Shotgun snap to Bobby A bear, three deep zone for the Generals. A bear looking for a seam, he can't find it. Incomplete. Trying to hit Holloway. Second and ten. A bear under center. Allen moves to the slot. Williams behind A bear. Again, this looks like a three deep zone for the Generals. Nope, man coverage. A bear throws it out. Complete to Holloway. He gets out of bounds. Gain of 12. Ball at the Michigan 35. 101 left in the half. A bear and shotgun. Patrick next to him. Allen and Carter to the top. Cobb and Holloway to the bottom. Two deep zone for the Generals. Shotgun snap. Oh, the Generals jump. Free play. A bear throws it. Incomplete. Pass intended for Carter. Offsides, New Jersey. Michigan accepts first and five at their 40. 56 seconds left in the half. Lacey and Patrick are your split backs. Bobby Bear under center. 3-4, two deep zone for the Generals. Quick hitter to Anthony Carter. He crosses midfield, 45, and knocked out of bounds. So Anthony Carter finally gets the ball in his hands with a little bit of running room. He picks up 18, knocked out at the 42 of New Jersey. 49 seconds left before the half. If Michigan scores, bizarrely, they're back in this game. Williams and Lacey are your split backs. Two deep zone for the Generals. A bear under center. Bobby back to throw. Has time. Sideline. Complete the Holloway. He breaks a tackle. Picks up about seven after the catch. 18 yards. Barbaro on the stop, but there is a flag on the field. Roughing the passer by... The general, so Bobby Abear gets a little bit of rough stuff there. They tack it on, and now here come the Panthers. Walt Michaels was not happy with that call on the New Jersey sidelines. 42 seconds left. Panthers with all three timeouts. If you wanted to hand the ball off to Captain Fumbleitis Williams, you can. Carter and Allen to the top. Holloway and... Uh, Broughton to the bottom. Williams alone setback. Again, I don't like playing zone down near the goal line, but New Jersey's playing a two deep zone. A bear to throw. Pylon incomplete. Was looking for Carter. Well covered by Horn. Second and 10 for the Panthers. A bear in shotgun. Williams next to him again. Generals playing four down linemen, two deep zone. Shotgun snap to Bobby Aber. He pumps, throws, complete to Holloway near the five. Out of bounds. They'll spot it at the six. Gain of six. Third and four. He went out of bounds. 31 seconds left before the half. A bear in shotgun. Cobb and Holloway to the bottom. Allen and Carter to the top. Will they go draw to Williams on third and four? Everyone up in the box for the Generals. It's a blitz. Bear, incomplete. Bear had more time than he thought. 
It looked like it was a medium slant to Carter, but Bear quickly threw the ball. But they picked up the blitz quite well, but it's fourth and four. Bojevic, second field goal attempt. This is a chip shot compared to, a, what was that, a 54-yarder he missed? This is a 23-yarder to try to put the Panthers on the board before the half. The snap, the place, Taylor holds. It is good. It's good. So it's 19-3. The Panthers are on the board. 20 seconds left. Here's the kickoff. New Jersey setting for the return. Deep in the end zone, taking a knee is Hackett. Touchback. So they'll have it first and 10 at their 20. I would think they would just run the clock out here. Sipes going to throw. Deep middle. Incomplete. Second down. Pass intended for Collins. Arnard on the coverage for the Panthers. 12 seconds left. Pegues with the carry. Crosses the 30 and is knocked out of bounds. 12 yards. Seven seconds left. Sipe. Walker, Walker turns it upfield. He gets out of bounds near the 40. One play left, two seconds left. Sipe's going to throw it up as far as he can. It's a Hail Mary. Sipe under duress, evades the rush, throws the magic bean. And it's caught by McCartney. But that will end the half. He is tackled at the Michigan 10. So Sipe to McCotney, it's a pretty, pretty, pretty thing on the stat line, but not much at all. So there's the half, 19-3, to New Jersey. The tail of this half, four turnovers by the Panthers, three fumbles and one interception. Let's get to the third quarter in a moment. Here we go, second half, third quarter, Ruzek to kick off to the Panthers. So if the Panthers can get a score here, they're, again, they're in this game. From the three comes Futrell, 20, cuts the outside and brought down at the 23. The Generals have had good kick coverage. First and 10 for the Panthers. Bear under center, Williams and Lacey are your backs, Carter, Cobb, Holloway. Your receivers, Cobb number 89 being the tight end. Two deep zone, four down linemen for New Jersey. A bear to throw on first down. A lot of time. Deep middle. Complete to Lacey out of the backfield. That's a gain of 14. Barbaro the safety on the stop. First and 10 at the Michigan 37. Patrick and Lacey are your split backs. 3 4 man coverage for the Generals. It's a handoff to Lacey. Lacey cuts to the left. Picks up four. Leclerc on the tackle for the Generals. Second and four. Lacey and Williams are in your staggered backfield for the Panthers. Two deep zone for the Generals on second and six. Bear under duress. Bear is brought down again. No yellow hanky to save the Panthers on this one. That is an eight-yard loss. Leclerc gets the sack. He claps his hands. It will be third and long. Panthers need 14 to convert. A bear under center. 3 4 man coverage for the Generals on third and long. Bobby drops back. Bobby calls a draw. Fourth down. And he only picks up six. Woodland on the tackle. Fourth and eight. Michigan's been stopped. Greenwood will punt. They've blocked a Greenwood punt. Not this one, though. Generals will let it go out of bounds at the 21. 12 08 left in the third quarter. The New Jersey Generals 19, the Michigan Panthers 3. The Generals are two point favorites on the road here at the Silver Dome. The over under is 47. Walker and Harmon are your backs. Maurice Carthon out for the year with broken ribs on his first carry of the game. Collins, Speck, and McCartney. Are your receivers, number 81, Speck, being the tight end? He's had a couple of big receptions here in this game. Sipe under center. It's a handoff to Walker. It's a run blitz, and that just destroys Walker. No place to go but down for the Georgia grad. One yard loss. Tipton will be credited with the tackle. Second and 11. 
Generals to the line of scrimmage. Three, four man coverage for the Panthers. Sipe hands it to Walker. Walker finds a little more daylight on the right side. Six yards. Pennywell on that stop for Michigan. Third and five. Harmon goes off the field. Hackett, number 84, comes on. He's the slot receiver. Zone coverage, 3-4 for the Panthers. Intercepted by Davis. Oh, my Lord. There's a miscommunication there. Sight. Let's watch that over in slow motion. He was looking for Collins. Collins broke off the route. And Sight throws it to Davis. And that's the first turnover by the Generals. Can Michigan take advantage of this? John Wise is saying goodnight to everyone. As they had a long trip, they're in Virginia now. So thank you very much, John Wise. You take care of yourself and have a good night's rest. Michigan trying to get back in this ball game. First and 10 at the New Jersey 43. A bear and shotgun Williams next to him. Allen and Carter to the top. Cobb. And Holloway to the bottom. Shotgun snap to Bobby Hebert. Hebert, it's a draw to Williams. He has some daylight. It's a big run. Gain of 13. Justin makes the tackle. He's trying to punch away at that ball from behind. But this time, Captain Fumbleitis holds on to it. Williams has fumbled twice already in this game. First and 10 for the Panthers at the New Jersey 30. Williams and Lacey are split backs. 4-3 man coverage for New Jersey. A Bear hands it to Williams. Williams stuffed in the middle of the line for a yard loss. Barbaro comes up from his safety position. Barbaro now looks like they're double covering Anthony Carter to the top of the screen. Allen in the slot. Williams alone setback. Cobb and Holloway to the bottom. Second and 11. A Bear drops back. He's going to get sacked again. That pocket is collapsing. Three-yard loss. Madison with the sack. There's a flag on the play. Personal foul once again. Roughing the passer. And Walt Michaels is going insane on the general sidelines. Instead of third and long, it will be first and ten for the Panthers at the New Jersey 16. A bear. A battered A Bear brings the offense to the line of scrimmage. He's under center. Allen in the slot. Williams alone setback. Man coverage 3 4 for the Generals. It's a handoff to Williams. Williams goes to the right. Off tackle right for two. Woodland on the stop. Second and eight. Just under nine to play in the third quarter. Four wide receivers set for the Panthers. Bruton. Holloway, Allen to the top, Carter to the bottom. Williams, a lone setback. Zone coverage too deep for the Generals. The Generals jumped. That will make it second and three for Michigan at the New Jersey 9. Lacey and Williams are your setbacks now for Michigan. Man coverage, four down linemen for New Jersey on second and three. Le Williams a second. He fumbled for a third time! Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. So a promising drive after the interception comes to an end as Williams treats the pigskin like a freaking hot, slippery potato. He has put the pigskin on the turf for a third time, and the New Jersey Generals come up with it for a third time. As Coach Jim Stanley just shakes his head in disgust on the Michigan sideline. Oh, my Lord. Here's the replay in slow motion. Williams struggling for extra yards. There's the pop. There's the fumble. And New Jersey comes away with the football. 8.47 left in the third quarter. 19-3 Generals. Pegues and Harmon are your backs. McCautney... Collins, Speck, your receivers, Speck being the tight end. Sipe under center, zone coverage, four down lineman for the Panthers. It's a pitch to Pegues, knocked out of bounds. He's going to lose a yard. Second and 11. Walker and Harmon are your backs now. 
Sweep to Walker to the right. Only picks up three. Banizak and company. Good pursuit. Third and eight. Sipe in shotgun. Walker next to him. McCotney and Speck to the top. Hackett and Collins to the bottom. Panthers, again, they're hedging their bets. Everyone up in the box, but I guarantee you they're playing pass. But that second thought, will they give the ball to Walker? Shotgun snap to Sipe. Walker stays in the block. Incomplete. Oh, Nelly. There's a flag on the play. Is it pass interference? Pass was intended for Collins. Defensive holding. And that will give Brian Sipe and the Generals offense a first and 10 at their 14. So the yellow hanky bails them out. 7.33 left in the third quarter. Walker, the lone setback. Hackett in the slot. 4-3, two deep zone. That middle is open. Look at that four down line and wide split. Will Walker go through the middle? Quick hitter to Collins. And Collins picks up seven. Corker on the tackle. Second and three. Eye formation, two tight end set. Harmon the up back. Walker behind him. Everyone up in the box for Michigan. Walker gets it, and boy, did he get it. No gain. Michigan wins the day at the line of scrimmage. Walker is stood up, pushed back. They blow the whistle. Third and three. Generals try to stretch it out just a bit. Hackett comes into the slot. Walker, the lone setback. Four down linemen, man coverage for the Panthers on third and three. Sipe to throw a lot of time. Middle complete to Hackett. Hackett moves towards the sidelines and gets out of bounds. It's a gain of 12. Generals get a new set of downs. First and 10 at their 33. Under six to play in the third quarter. Harmon and Walker are your backs for New Jersey. 4-3, two deep zone for the Panthers. Sipe gives it to Walker. Walker plunges the middle on the trap play. No gain. Tipton tripped him up. Second and 10. Harmon and Walker go off the field. Pegues and Hackett, come on. Pegues the lone setback. Hackett, number 80, floor it in the slot. Second and 10. Sipe under center. Sipe to throw. Quick out to Collins. Picks up four. Third and six. From the New Jersey, 37. Four wide receivers set for Walt Michaels, New Jersey Generals. Knight, McCartney, Hackett to the top. Collins to the bottom. Walker, the lone setback. Everyone up in the box. No safety help for the Panthers on third and six. Sipe, screen, Walker, and he is nailed in the backfield. As the Panthers swarm to the ball, two-yard loss. Pennywell jumps up, pumps his fist. He made the big tackle. Fourth and eight. Group to punt from his 19. He gets the punt off. 19 to three, Generals. Here comes Broughton, and there goes Broughton right down. Only a one yard return. Excellent punt coverage by the Generals. Generals offense has not fared thee well in this game, even though they're up 19-3. to Patrick, Lacey are your running backs. Carter, Cobb, Holloway, your receivers for the Panthers. Cobb number 89 being the tight end. 3-4 man coverage for the Generals. A Bear under center for the Panthers. A Bear pitches to Patrick. Patrick goes to the left. Picks up three. Madison on the stop. Second and seven. 322 and counting in the game. Carter to the top. Allen, Holloway, Brutton to the bottom. Williams. Why is he still in the game is beyond me. He's fumbled the ball three times. Screen. Williams. Williams nailed in the backfield. Leclerc gets him for a one-yard loss. It'll be third and eight. Allen moves to the slot. Cobb comes back on the field. Williams again, the lone setback. 3-4, two deep zone for the Generals on third and long. Bobby Bear pitches to Williams. Williams to the left, and he is nailed. Only gets a yard. Horn on a really good hit there. Fourth and seven. Greenwood to punt from about his 16. They've blocked a Greenwood punt. They were coming after it again, but they didn't get there. On the return is Hackett. Not much at all. Only three yards on the 43-yard punt by Greenwood. But the Generals have the ball with 156 left in the third quarter. Generals up by 16, 19-3. Harmon and Walker are your backs. 4-3 man coverage for the Panthers. Pitch out to Herschel Walker. Walker's going to get three or four. They'll spot it a three-yard gain. 
as the Georgia grads knocked out of bounds, second and seven. Again, split backfield for the Generals, two deep zone, three down linemen for the Panthers. Psyched to throw. That was a short hitch to McCotney, the receiver, well covered by Chapman. Third and seven. Knight and McCotney to the top of the screen for New Jersey. Hackett and Collins to the bottom. Walker, the lone setback. Everyone up in the box for the Panthers. Hedging their bet in case it's a Herschel Walker run. It's a blitz. Complete to Knight. And he's going to cross midfield. Oh, Nelly. They beat the blitz with the short slant. And if the blitz doesn't get there and you hit that slant receiver as Sype did tonight, it goes a long way. And this time it went 20 yards and a first down. Good job by Brian Sight and Knight. 44 seconds and counting in the third quarter. First and 10 for the Generals at the Michigan 49. Harmon and Walker are your backs. 3-4, two deep zone for the Panthers. Sight pitches to Herschel Walker, and Walker brought down in the backfield. Two-yard loss as, again, Michigan swarms to the ball carrier Herschel Walker. He's had some big runs, and then he's had some painful, painful runs. Trying to get one more playoff before the end of the third quarter. Four wide receivers set for New Jersey. It's a... Oh! Well, Pagues... Four yard loss on that pitch play out of shot out of um the one back set and that will end the third quarter. Or will it not? Yes it will. Fifteen more minutes of football. New Jersey, again, their offense has not been bueno. Turnovers have cost Michigan dearly, and Michigan's offense has definitely not been bueno. Nineteen to three, fifteen more minutes of football. And let's get to it. Third and 16. My God, if the Panthers hold and can score, they are in this game. They trail by 16. Walker, the lone setback on third and long for New Jersey. Sipe under center. Collins and Hackett to the top. Speck and McCartney to the bottom. Hackett's in the slot. 4-3, two deep zone for Michigan on third and 16. Sight to throw. He has a lot of time. Incomplete. That zone really choked off the lanes for Sype and the Generals. Fourth and 16. That pass was intended for Herschel Walker out of the backfield. Group to punt from about his 29. Panthers coming after it. Oh, they almost got there. It's a high punt. From the 14 is Broughton. And again, he is getting no returns. As group is having these really high, high punts. Allowing the Generals coverage to get down there. And put pops on Michigan returners. 14-48 left in the game. Michigan trails by 16. They have it first and 10 at their 17. Lacey the up back. Williams behind him. Holloway and Carter out wide. Cobbs the tight end. Bobby Bear under center. 3-4, two deep zone for the Generals. Bear gives it to Captain Fumbleitis Williams, who goes to the right, picks up six, and miraculously holds on to the ball. Leclerc on the tackle. Second and four. Lacey and Williams are split backs. 3-4 zone coverage by the Generals. Screen. Williams, and he is hit quickly. Only picks up two. Third and short. So it's third and two. Everyone up in the box for the Generals. They're looking run. Will they give it to Lacey? Will they give it to Williams? Will A. Bear throw over the top or keep it himself? Bobby gives it to Williams. Williams picks up the first. Kept his legs are churning. Hold on to that pigskin for dear life. And it's a new set of down for the Michigan Panthers. Steeler fan 1933 has joined us, a.k.a. Matt. Hope all is well. Four wide receivers set. For Michigan, Broughton, Holloway, Allen to the top, Carter to the bottom, Patrick the lone setback. New Jersey has everyone up in the box on first and ten, but they're stretched off, stretched out across the field. A Bear, Patrick, Patrick, only a yard. That's a nice spot. They give him two. Leclerc on the tackle. So New Jersey, everyone up in the box again. They're playing pass, but they immediately see run and they make the hit. Second and eight, twelve seventeen, and counting in the game. Lacey and Williams are split backs. 4-3, two deep zone for the Generals. Up by 16. Screen to Williams. Williams gets to the outside. 
Cut down after six yards. Again, LeClaire's out there on the tackle. Third and two. This is a huge play for the Panthers trying to get back in this game. Broughton, Holloway to the top, Allen and Carter to the bottom. Williams alone setback. Again, he's fumbled three times in this game. They have stretched this New Jersey defense out from sideline to sideline. No safety help for New Jersey on third and two. A bear, quick hitter. You really gotta. If you're a bear, you really gotta call an audible here. They're choking off the short passes, and he's trying to hit a a short hitch to Carter, who was well defended by Williams. A bear's lucky that wasn't a pick six. Greenwood will punt from his twenty, under twelve to play in this game. Greenwood gets the punt off. Remember, he's had one blocked. From the 22 is Hackett. He evades the first tackler. Gets it close to the 30 on the 7-yard return after the 41-yard punt by Greenwood. Generals have it first and 10 at their 30. 11-25 left in the game. 19-3 New Jersey. One of these teams is going to go 2-0. Another team will not. Unless there's a tie, which doesn't look like it will be that. Collins, Speck, McCotney are your Receivers, Speck being the tight end. Walker and Harmon are your backs. If you're just joining us, Maurice Carthon out for the year. Broken ribs. First carry of the game. 4-3, two deep zone for the Pan Panthers. It's a sweep to Walker to the right. A lot of running room. And Herschel picks up 11. Followed his blocks and then lowered his shoulder and got a couple of more. Borland holding on for dear life. Now the Generals look to run clock. I formation, Harmon the up back. Walker behind him. 3-4, two deep zone for the Panthers. It's a pitch to Walker. And this time Walker is brought down for a two-yard loss by Banizak in the backfield. Good job by the Panthers defense. They have played well, the Panthers defense. They've been put in bad situations with turnovers. And they have held New Jersey only to one... New Jersey's only been able to get one touchdown and four field goals. So second and 12, Walker and Harmon split backs. Two deep zone, 3-4 for the Panthers on second and long. Walker to the left, nothing doing. He loses another yard. Arnard on the tackle. Third and long, 13 to be exact. Sipe in shotgun. Hackett and Collins to the top. Speck and McCartney to the bottom. Walker to the left of Sipe. In shotgun formation. Zone coverage. Four down linemen for the Panthers. Sipe out of shotgun. He is sacked. No time for Brian Sipe. Bethea bethoozles Sipe. Seven yard loss. Again, this Panther defense keeping Michigan in this game. Kicking and screaming. Fourth and 20. Grouped a punt from his 15. Under nine to play. Panthers. They have to mount some sort of offense here. And Broughton actually gets a decent return for him. Picks up seven after the 40-yard punt by Group. Michigan, first and 10 on their 36. Trail by 16. Two-point conversion is in this league. So it's a two-possession game. Williams, Lacey are your backs. Williams, Captain Fumbleitis. He's put the pigskin on the turf three times. And New Jersey's recovered three times. Bobby Hebert has thrown a pick. Sipes thrown one pick. For the Generals. Carter, Cobb, Holloway, your receivers. Cobb being the tight end. 3-4 man coverage for New Jersey. Bobby Abair. It's a delayed handoff to Lacey. Lacey goes right. Picks up three. Horn on the stop. Just over eight to play. Abair in shotgun. Williams next to him. Shotgun snap. It's a blitz. Incomplete. Abair felt the pressure. Threw a little quickly. He's trying to hit Cobb the tight end. Third and seven. 8.03 left in the game. A bear under center. Broughton and Holloway to the top. Williams alone setback. Allen and Carter to the bottom of the screen. Four down linemen for New Jersey. Man coverage. 4 3. Third and seven. A bear middle complete to Anthony Carter. Carter breaking away. 30. 25. 20 and brought down. They hit Anthony Carter. On that short slant, and again, he found the seam in the zone, and Anthony Carter is a speedy, speedy human being. He goes for 41. Let's watch that over in actual speed. No pressure on Bobby Aber. Carter finds the seam as he's slanting short middle. Touchdown saving tackle by the New Jersey Generals, Horn. And that is a huge play. 7.20 left in the game. 
19-3 New Jersey. That brings the fans here at the Silver Dome to life. Broughton and Holloway to the top. Allen and Carter to the bottom. Patrick to lone setback. A bear under center. No safety help for New Jersey. That defense is stretched from sideline to sideline. A bear gives it to Patrick to the left. And again, New Jersey playing pass but hedging their bets. Everyone up in the box. Patrick is limited to a one yard carry. Under seven to play. Second and nine. Lacey and Williams are your split backs. Barbaro looks like he's doubling the tight end Cobb here. That's what it looks like to me. You can see number 26, the free safety for the Generals to the bottom of the screen. A Bear barks out the signals. He'll take the snap. He has time. Zips it. Sideline almost picked off by Williams. Pass intended for Holloway. Third and nine. A Bear in shotgun. Williams next to him. Holloway and Cobb to the top. Allen and Carter to the bottom. 4 3, two deep zone for New Jersey. I think this is two down territory for the Panthers. Shotgun snap to Bobby Abear. Abear looking, has time, sidelines, incomplete, leaping effort by Allen. Fourth and nine. Bojovic for the field goal. It's good. It's good. Ah, I think you had to go for it there. I don't think there's enough time. So it's now 19 to 6. Again, New Jersey, two-point favorites on the road. That looks like that's going to hold. And the over-under was 47. The under looks like it's going to hold. 626 left in the game, 19-6. to six. Bajovic to kick off. Again, Michigan needs a three and out on defense. Taking a knee in the end zone is Hackett. Touchback. 6.26 to play, New Jersey 19, Michigan 6. I formation for the Generals. I think you'll see a steady diet of Herschel Walker. Harmon the up back, pitch out to Walker, and Walker brought down in the backfield, two-yard loss as Corker uncorked on Walker. Second and 12. Walker goes to the sideline, Pegues comes on, so it's Harmon and Pegues. 3-4 zone coverage for the Panthers. Pegues to the right, has some room. Third down. Seven yards. Counter right popped. Third and five, just over five to play in the game. Walker comes back on the field as Harmon and Pegues go off. Hackett's the slot receiver. 4-3, two deep zone for Michigan. Sight to throw on third and five. Deep middle. Caught by McCartney. For 18 yards and another set of downs. And that sound you're hearing are more nails in that Michigan Panther coffin. Under five to play. I formation. Generals taking their time. Harmon the up back. Walker behind. A man coverage for the Panthers. And Sype takes it himself. Picks up four. Arnard tags him down. Second and six, under four to play. Again, that's why I don't think you kick the field goal in that situation when the Panthers have it. I formation. Walker gets the ball to the right, and it's a big run for Herschel Walker. 11 yards. He's got to be over 100, I would think. Bentley on the stop. Clock going tick, tick, tick. Harmon to the left. Off tackle, no gain. Under three to play. Walker on the sweep right. He's got the first down, and he's racing down the sidelines, and he refused to be knocked out of bounds. 16 yards for the Heisman Trophy winner out of Georgia, Herschel Walker. Michigan uses their first timeout. Pegues comes in for Walker. Pegues to the right. Not as much success. No gain. Banizak on the tackle. Michigan uses their second timeout. Walker. Sype takes it himself, and my God, Michigan... Got caught watching the paint dry on that one. Sight picks up six. Paget on the tackle. Michigan uses their last timeout. Third and four. It's a run blitz. Walker runs into the run blitz. One yard loss. Ruzik. Well, they'll let it down. Let it run down to the two minute warning very smartly. Ruzik going for his sixth field goal attempt here. 38 yards. I think Michigan jumped. Ruzik makes it. It's good. Penalty. Do you take the points off the board? 
They do. They say yes. They want the ball. Two tight end set. Sype takes a knee. This game is over, folks. Sype takes a knee. Sype takes a knee. And Michigan, the coaching will be questioned. I'm not going for it and kicking a field goal, plus some other questionable calls. And the four turnovers are killers. They're going to actually try to kick a field goal here. This will end the game. Points matter in the standings. Ruzik makes it. The final score is going to be 22-6. to six. The Generals' two-point favorites come in to Michigan. And it was a struggle at times, but they handle the Panthers quite easily. And they have a new pelt for their trophy room for the floor. It's called a Michigan Panther. And that's the ball game, folks. The New Jersey Generals, 22. The Michigan Panthers, 6. A horrible effort by Michigan at home here in the Pontiac Silverdome. So New Jersey goes to 2-0. and They're in first place in the East. Panthers are 1-1 one one in the Central. We have more games to come. As after further reviews, review with Steve Towers, it's hard to overcome that many. Yeah, it was amazing. You're correct. Hard. I should complete his thought, right, Al? But finish reading the sentence, Al. Steve says, hard to overcome that many turnovers, and he is correct. Once again, check out his wonderful channel for fast. Oh, God damn it. Where is it? When you're old, you forget things. You know, you forget things. It's over here. Hold on. Hold on, folks. I see where the. Uh, fast Drive Football, brought to you by Al Wilson. Um, I'm sure there's a link on either Steve after further reviews channel or Dave Gardner's channel and it's free the game's free but all you have to do is um, or it's asked of you to uh, donate to one of your favorite charities that's really nice I mean it plays like the um, play.com games history maker baseball history maker foot, uh, golf so on and so forth I've watched it. It's a very fun game to listen to, and and they've done a Steve and Dave have done an excellent job streaming. A couple other people have streamed it also. I think Jason streamed it. They've all done fine, fine jobs of showing off and representing the game. Hats off to you, fellas. Well, let's quickly get to the stats. We got to take Max the dog out. So uh, let's go to New Jersey. Sipe. 12 of 26, under 50%, 46% completion, a touchdown and a pick. Quarterback 168, quarterback rating 64.26. Bobby A. Bear, 18 of 30, 60% completion, 213 yards. He had an interception. He was only sacked once. That doesn't seem right. I could have sworn he was. Oh, the penalty in the other one was he got to the line of scrimmage. But they got decent pressure on it, on A. Bear, it seemed. Rushing. Williams fumbled three times. It cost them the game, to be honest with you. That last fumble of his when they're inside the five, ouch. Inside the general's five, and he coughed it up for a third time. 16 carries, 66 yards. He sucked. I don't care. It says 4.2 yards a carry. Captain Fumbleitis. I would have not had him in the game anymore. Herschel Walker, 24 carries. He had big runs, and he got stuffed at times. 101 yards. Um, he was pretty much the offense here. Receiving for the Generals, McCotney, 3 for 72. He had that 50-yarder at the end of the half. He got tackled at the 10 on the Hail Mary. Uh, touchdown reception, Spec 2 for 35, 20-yard TD. Michigan, Holloway, 7 for 101. Carter, 3 for 60. Other than that, I mean, again, their offense was held in check. New Jersey had the short field almost all game. That's how they scored. They really didn't move the ball well. And the MVP, we'll get to that in a moment. Michigan, leading tackler, Tipton, the defensive lineman, with nine. Bethea had a sack. He also had six tackles. And the pick was by the extra defensive back, Davis. For the Generals, who are 2-0, and leading tackler, LeClaire, with 12. He had a sack. He also uh, had a fumble recovery. They fumbled four times? Three. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Carter fumbled once. Lockett, Woodland, and Madis Madsen also had fumble recoveries. And the pick was by Justin. 
They had five turnovers. I missed one. I forgot that Carter fumbled once also. I'm pretty sure. Let's go back here. Now I'm curious. Oh, they don't show fumbles for receivers. Okay. But I'm pretty sure it was Carter. Michigan. Bajovic. Two for three. They tried an asinine, like it was 54, 56-yard field goal, which was stupid. Wow, they really, Coach Stanley's going to be questioned. If he was drinking, if he wasn't drinking, he should. Maybe he'll, um, here's the MVP of the game, in my opinion. Roger Ruzik, 5 for 5 for field goals. His long was 52, 1 for 1 for extra points, 16 points on his lonesome. That's your MVP, folks. So again, New Jersey wins 22 to 6. I like to think after further review with Steve Tower. You welcome Steve. Uh, check out his wonderful channel. Steeler Fan 1933, aka Matt, John Wise, thank you. Dave Gardner, check out his wonderful channel. Of course, Digital Dice on Spreaker or wherever fine podcasts can be listened to with Ron Juckett and Dave Gardner. All your sports, sims, games, subject, subject matter. Spit it out, Al, as you choke on your own. Al is still not feeling good. I feel better. You got that mucus thing going. Uh, former president and general Ulysses S. Grant was here. Alan Griggy, happy birthday to you once again. Thank you very much. Jim L., thank you. Sportsman Z, check out that wonderful YouTube channel. Larry Harris, thank you. USMC Rebels, thank you very much. Super Bowl Tournament, a.k.a. Mike in the Truck who creates these wonderful mod seasons along with Lee, and they're absolutely free upon purchase of Pro Strategy Football. Pro Strategy Football 2022 is coming out late August, early September. Again, it's up to you if you want to buy this version or wait. The next version has a lot of cool stuff coming. Again, it's under $20, but it's your entertainment dollars. So I buy this game. Uh, I highly recommend it. But again, I would if I was only going to buy one of them, I would wait for the newer version savoy 48 thank you very much and sdg replays thank you check out his wonderful channel so there you have it new jersey wins 22 to 6 we got more games coming in this league it's a really fun league um so far we've showed you this game buffalo out of the afc def got crushed by the new york yankees out of the afc 37 to 12 these are games we simmed Philadelphia Stars are now 2-0. They crushed Honolulu Hawaiians 27-7. Uh, in a battle of WFL teams, Chicago fell to Florida in the sunshine, sunshine State 30-3. So Florida's 2-0. Chicago, out of the WFL, the Fire are 0-2. Denver upsets Chicago. I think Chicago is actually slight favorites on the road. And they beat them 16 to 8. Denver is at 1 and 1. Chicago, not a good start, 0 and 2. And we're their next game. I think we're gonna go Cleveland in an AAFC AAFC matchup. Cleveland 1 and 0 against San Francisco 1 and 0. We might give you the New York Baltimore game. I'm deciding on that one. Um, Oklahoma evens their record at 1 and 1, 28 to 17 over the Philadelphia Bell who are now 0-2. They're out of the WFL, so the USFL faring the well. This was an upset. Had I known it was going to be an upset, I would have showed you the game. I checked the point spread. Houston was favored by 14 points, and they lose at home in the Astrodome, 16-7, to to Rick Neuheisel, under center, for the San Antonio Gunslingers. They're 1-1. One one. Houston's 1-1. One one. That's a huge battle in the South. We're definitely bringing you the all- uh, city battles. Birmingham versus Birmingham. The Birmingham Americans versus the Birmingham Stallions. They're 0-1. And, and the Stallions are 1-0. and So it's WFL, USFL. That's going to be on the channel. Tampa went to 2-0 with a 13-3 win over the Houston... What the hell were they called? Oh, shoot. They're actually called what the NFL team's called, and I can't think of it. Houston. Anyway, hold on. I have it right here. Houston is... What the hell is Houston called? Texans. Jesus, Al. Couldn't remember that. Don't get old, folks. So, again, 
a good win for Tampa in the South. I think we have them in this. They might be in the Central, actually. Arizona off to a horrible start. They're 0-2. Jacksonville 1-1. One and, one. and that was a close game. 31-28. We're going to show you Memphis versus Memphis. The Memphis South men, I think they're called. Take a quick look at the... Yep, the South men taking on the, sh the um, showboats. Both 1-0. And then here's a really nice matchup. The Dons, the Los Angeles Dons, 1-0 against the Los Angeles Express, 1-0. Uh, Oakland loses on the road in New Orleans, 15-14. New Orleans now 1-1, Oakland 0-2. And Portland succumbs to the Southern California. Are they the sun? Let's find out. Southern California... I have difficulty remembering the WFL. Yep, Southern California Sun. 28-13. So again, you're going to see the Memphis, Memphis, Los Angeles, Los Angeles, Birmingham, Birmingham. And, you know, we might show you all these games. I really like this league. It's a lot of fun. We made it. Um, I had to fix six teams because the players didn't come across right. So that's why we had a little delay in going back to this league. But that's what we're going to do. And we'll continue with our 1982 nine-game strike season also. But I really do like this league. It's a fun league. Our game, again, 22-6. to The New Jersey Generals over the Michigan Panthers. Generals 2-0. Panthers 1-1. So until next time, take care, stay safe, be smart, treat people the way you want to be treated. Check out all the other wonderful YouTube content creators in our community. I've mentioned them, and there's many, many more. When you go there, even if you're there for a little bit and you're going to go back after, hit that like button for those folks. They're bringing you entertainment, fun entertainment. So I greatly appreciate your time. Generals win 22-6, to though. <laughs> It was a struggle at times. Neither offense played well, obviously. And you know why if you watched it. Um, God bless. You know what's coming, folks. You know what's coming. <laughs>